Hello, welcome to History Picks All. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Sun Positioner in 3ds Max. Now, Sun Positioner is a very unique uh, tool in 3ds Max, which I haven't seen a lot of people going to uh, usually use this, but I feel this is a very powerful tool which can give you a very interesting results if you can control it according to uh, the tool's settings and all. So, <coughs> it's a pretty simple though and uh, uh, what it actually capable of is, is simulate a, a very nice exterior uh, lighting which can be very handy for a large uh, uh, you know vast area uh, and as well as uh, you can simulate this for the architectural uh, visualization also now sun positioner uh, is something which is right now it's on your screen that this one uh, I've this has been created and uh, you can see it it, it, it can emulate a, a sun also and uh, there is a sky uh, sky color has been given and there are a lot of features which which can be used and I'm just giving you a small example that uh, how it can be done how it can be uh, very handy is is the is not only the the position of the sun as well as its uh, it, it changed the color of the sunlight according to your position so you can see that if I if I put it on the uh, change the altitude it uh, the, the the color of your sky automatically change as well as the entire uh, illumination power also now, now if you see that if I decrease the altitude immediately you can see that the the, the sky color also uh, change according to the altitude of the sun Now this is very interesting and uh, what happened that if we have to animate a particular scene where the sun is actually going down or maybe coming up if you, you can see that if you if you continuously decreasing the amount of your altitude sorry yeah now you can see it's it's an absolutely sunset or maybe sunrise so, so this kind of effect is very very easy to emulate in uh, Sun Positioner so let's see how we can use it or how we can create or can control all, all these things so for for this one what I have done is I have created a terrain and put a very basic texture and also uh, got a physical camera in in release max which can be found from the from the object type camera standard camera options now <coughs> for the sun I have to go to the uh, photomic light you know and here you can get the sun positioner so you have to understand that why I have used a photometric uh, camera also there is a reason behind that and which uh, I'm going to explain very soon so so uh, take the sun positioner and you just have to click and then release your mouse click and you can increase or decrease your uh, size and after that after, after so release the click you can change your northeast positioning you can see that northeast positioning is the north offset value is changing according to your the why how much you are you are going to rotate your gizmo and then again click and then you can you know change the sun position or sun distance from here and then again you can click and it's done so now don't worry about uh, creation process of this one too much because anyway you can change the radius of this one of the of the gizmo and the north offset uh, manually later on so this is something really really important so go to the modify panel and you can you can change e almost everything you want to you want to change so this is uh, this is the way that you can create your uh, uh, sun positioner now after that uh, to, to see that for how how it can be uh, what is the output that is coming out or what is the output which is generating I recommend you to go to the app, uh, render first setup and here target the active shade mode and set the render to ART now after that you just sorry oops, 
just hit render for once now immediately you can see your object y you have a you have a uh, scene in your hand now the problem is over here my son's position is yeah it's it's uh, almost on the horizon and that's how that's how we uh, we are getting uh, this this particular kind of effect that it's in it's in the sunset or the sunrise position now this is this is where your or the positioning of the sun uh, when you are changing it manually or you want to have a date or uh, time and location uh, or you want to uh, import and weather data i will show you all of it uh, how to do that so start with the date time and location the see that if you if you change it to manual or maybe your date time location it's it's showing you a little different than than the uh, than the uh, uh, the previous one what is actually happened it's actually feeded the general data of a specific place on earth now here right now it's san francisco california which is uh, uh, the latitude and longitude has been given the uh, the azimuth and altitude al also has been given and there's a specific time it's, it's 22nd 21st of uh, july okay so of 2021 so uh, that hasn't been uh, he uh, here yet but the problem is that it, it's the the simulator has already feed in a generalized data this is not the weather data I, I'm, I'm talking about this is a very interesting one that's this is a very generic data that has been feed inside this now you can change uh, an earlier version also which has been already there which is not a kind of a presumption uh, it might not be the same scenario o over there on that particular uh, year but this is the general uh, data that has been fed inside this uh, sun positioner now let me show you how to change this one over here now if you change the hour the time of this you can see it's been emulating the sun according to that hour of that particular day of the year so if I come back to let's suppose uh, 1987 1987 uh, it, it was a completely different one uh, the the warmth of the color is was completely different in in San Francisco on on 18 now if we if we change it to a different time let's let's say in the morning side eight o'clock that the entire calculation got changed so this is how you can actually you know emulate certain um, uh, level of detail uh, while creating the uh, creating the uh, the, pos uh, the create or you want you want to emulate a certain area of 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 art you know which is really helpful now uh, next portion that I'm going to uh, show you is a manual and why this manual one is very important also that if you want to emulate a specific weather uh, information but you want to manually change the sun position according to your camera according to your uh, you know or uh, uh, the location uh, according to your frame that you are you are putting in uh, for, for the show so manual uh, settings is actually comes handy you can see the immediately uh, the azimuth and the altitude is become active which is uh, editable now which was not editable at the time of daytime and location if you see this this, uh, this triangle points has been gone and I cannot increase or decrease the value over here as math or, or altitude w uh, while using the date time and location but when manual it's all of the other thing has been blocked out and the azimuth and altitude has been came out so now what you can do is you can bring this Sun in front of your camera just to uh, uh, fulfill your uh, you know uh, frame uh, the, the 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 framing that you want uh, of from from your s uh, to to full to do your scene now this is this is really interesting so you get a data out of uh, out of a simulation and then you can manually uh, place the sun according to your requirement this is also can be possible so when you are emulating a non-photorealistic also 
uh, you can change some of the data, manipulate some of the data, and you can achieve the desired result that you want. Now, these things are uh, uh, the man. So manual do don't have any other options to to uh, work with. Now the weather data is a very important thing. Now weather data is not the kind of data that we usually see. If you go to the setup option, you can see that you need to load a weather data file. Now weather data file can be achieved very easily. So I have uh, I can recommend you one uh, website that is called energyplus.net where you can actually download a a weather data file which is an EPW file can see this one which actually uh, supports by free max if you can recall and you can see this uh, the, the EPW file is out there so you can see this uh, uh, I hope this is the international airport uh, data of US now if you open that this data is actually from January 99 to uh, December 31st 1990 uh, sorry from 31st of uh, December uh, 1997 to January 1995, 1999. Sorry. So now this is a very uh, interesting thing. The why, how, what can be done with this one? Now I can change. I can use a specific period of time, date and time, or I can create an entire animation out of it. This is interesting. Very interesting. That if we want to have a time lapse also for the suns and all that also can be done over here and which is a very very fantastic thing which I've never seen anywhere else where, uh, where I, I can feed an entire range of uh, data uh, uh, weather data and I, I can emulate that or I can simulate that entirely in my scene so this is a very interesting one so so let's see in a specific date and time and let's say I hit OK now it went black the reason is you have to see this is I offer midnight that's why it went black if you ch if you want to change the time period this is this this is something which you can do by your slider so now I want four or seven uh, 17 maybe let's suppose 13 okay fine in the mid midday so it okay and say okay great now this is something which is uh, really important that so the time is Saturday February 12 1977 getting my point so this is this is the specific data time which where the data has been cal calculated so that is absolutely incredible if I change this one to something 19 let's say April yeah April 30 and say okay oops my timing was not right it's 23 yeah great now this is see it, it's it's changed accordingly so whenever you you are you are uh, changing the time it, it also emulate the similar a similar fashion so this is really really interesting and you can you can check your uh, check your uh, collect weather data specific dates also and you can uh, download it and you can use it uh, a, a, in terms of uh, in terms of your emulation purpose so uh, let me show you a few uh, more interesting thing which is uh, really really important in this factor so what you can do is uh, you have to press 8 and uh, press 8 and you can go to the environment and effects and here is the the major thing which is uh, very important which you need to uh, uh, look after now what is over here is uh, 3ds max is using a, a pre environment map the physical sun and sky environment map which has been already been used over here that is actually emulating the sky uh, from uh, taking the feed from the weather data or maybe the information that you are putting over here now this is really really important now also you have to use the exposure control now remember that I have already told you there is a reason behind that I'm using the uh, physical camera so you have to use the physical camera exposure control and if you have no exposure 
you can see this has been white off well, sorry, whitewashed the entire scene so you have to use a physical uh, camera exposure now while using the physical camera exposure you have to please turn on uh, sometimes you might need to and you it will depend that uh, uh, you might have to turn off the use physical camera controls if available so I'm not going to uh, use that one and you have to play with your global exposure value now right now the global exposure value is 6 now just increase a little bit which I found is the perfect one is for 14 or 15 so this is really really interesting if you want to see your uh, light uh, uh, the, the, the sun the, uh, the actual shape of the sun you might have to increase the exposure value uh, uh, way more so these are the controls that that will give you a, a very different kind of results uh, if you want to increase oops if you want to increase your brightness of the entire scene you just have to uh, reduce the exposure value of the global exposure and you can have your bright sunny day which will be very very interesting to uh, uh, to uh, you know achieve so hope you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on facebook and twitter thank you very much